Welcome back my friends, John from Live Wild Channel. I picked up a Black Friday deal. It was on Amazon. Uh, the Bushnell TRS-25. You've seen them. I'm going to show you a little trick um, after I get it mounted, what I did, or a little bit of stuff, but this ain't going to be a mounting video. Picked this up for like 42 something to my door. Two day shipping. So that was great. And then I also picked up this UTG riser mount. It's RS08S3. So it'll help for the co-witness. So I'll go ahead and get this started. I ain't going to do an unboxing on this. I already had it out. Works great. So and then I'll show you what I'm doing. Alright, just a quick look at the UTG riser mount. It's pretty simple. And then the TRS-25. Now, I'll get this mounted first. I ain't going to do any of that, but I'll show you what I'm going to do for this mount. And then I might get better optics down the road. I just couldn't pass the deal up. And I know Silent Bob I'll put a link to his video at the end of his uh, AR pistol. He's running one of these, man. It just works great. So, great economical red dot for the money. So, I'm going to take this back off. I got it to where I think I like it. I'm not going to lock tighten it this down yet until I get to the range and shoot a little bit. Okay. I'm going to take this little the the bent take the scope caps off. Take the little funky that one, I'm going to cut these off. I'm going to come over here, cut them off, just like so. And then I'm going to make sure I got that right. I'm going to lay it right here. And then put the mount back on. Then you never lose your caps. Just a little quick tip. For these, and you always got your caps, and there I dropped my Allen wrench. I'll tighten this down, a little closer look, see it's going right through down below, like so. You just put it back on, you know, you'll never lose the caps, and it also works like a, uh, puts pressure on the, the unit itself, so keeps it locked in place. Flip them down and you'll never lose your caps. Alright, thanks for watching.